What's going on everybody? Alex here, Nick and Zana Landscape, and I want to talk to you guys, especially the young people, men and women, how to be successful in business or how I've gotten to be where I'm at in business and I consider myself successful. I'm only 26, so don't take this as uh, advice from a millionaire, but in my eyes, I'm doing okay. I think I'm happy where I'm at and I've done it by three simple rules. Number one, and I believe this is most important, I think a lot of people lose focus of this or lose sight of this or they don't even know why they start their business, um, but it's going to be remember why you started your business. Why did you start? Did you start for time? Did you start for money? Did you start for a little bit of both? Why did you start? Everyone's got a reason. Uh, mine was mainly time and just control. I want to be able to, if I want to make more money, I want to be able to make more money. And if I need more time off, I want to be able to take more time off. I don't want to get yelled at for needing to take a day off here and there whenever I need to. Um, and with that being said, I haven't taken a sick day in three years, uh, so that should tell you something. But I do occasionally need to take time off. I need to go to the doctor, or I need to go to the DMV, or I need to take care of this for my house and be there to meet this person. And I don't want to get heckled for that. I don't want anybody giving me trouble for that. So my main thing was time, but at some points it is money. It's a little bit of both, I think, for me. Um, like I said, you know, whenever I need more money, I can work more. And if I need more time off, then I take more time off. So like right now, I'm on vacation. I'm sitting next to a pool. I don't have a pool at my house. The beach is a quarter mile down the road. That's not, that's definitely not where I live, but I'm, I'm using my time right now. This, this is time, and I'm doing this because I own my own business. Now, some people have jobs that they can take time off. That's fine, but I want to be able to control mine. When I need to take time off, I take time off. And I'm really not losing any money while I'm sitting here because I did all my work. I worked extra before I came and I'm gonna work extra whenever I get home. So I took a week off and I'm not losing any money. Now number two, once you've got your why figured out, which everyone needs, that needs to be your first step. If you don't have your why figured out, don't worry about this step. You need to pause this video and figure out your why or you need to take a couple weeks and figure out your why and come back and watch this part. But the second part, once you've got your why figured out, is to be honest and to do good work. That can go so far. I mean, in the beginning of our business, we didn't even advertise. We didn't spend any money doing any of that. Everything we got for the first four years of business was word of mouth. We had a little bit of Facebook, but I never paid for a Facebook advertisement. My friends would share it, or my friends' friends would share it, whatever. That's word of mouth, guys. That is new age word of mouth. So um, just, you know, be honest and do good work. Your work I mean, that's, that's who you are, right? If you do crappy work, then you're a crappy company. If you do amazing work, then you're an amazing company. And obviously, it's not going you know, to show over a month, two months, three months, or one job. It's going to show over three years. It's going to be you know, someone that you did work for three years ago. They're going to call you, hey, I got your number from Susie. You did her landscape three years ago, and you did a good job. So it's really, really simple, guys. Just be honest and do good work. If you don't lie, if you tell the customer how it is, and even if you have to come back after a job, if you quote a job at $2,000, which I see people do this a lot, and I don't really agree with it, um, if you quote a job at $2,000, and no matter how long the job takes you, you charge them two grand. I don't really think that that's right. I think you need to be honest. If you do a job for $2,000 and you go over and you're at $24,000, $2,500, there's nothing wrong with going up to the customer and saying, look, I'm at $24,000, $2,500. I know I told you two grand, but let's meet somewhere in the middle. Give me a little bit of it, you know, and I'll take a little bit of the hit. You take a little bit of the hit. But when you're honest with the customer, nine times out of ten, they're perfectly okay with that. And when you try, now if you just go up to them and say, oh, it's going to be 25, they're like, wait a minute, you quoted me 2,000. But if you sit there and honestly explain it to them and you have perfect justification for it, like I said, nine times out of 10, they're perfectly okay with it and they're still very happy with the job. So that's number two, be honest and do good work. Now for number three. All right, number three, and I believe this is probably the most important one at the end of the day is be patient. It's not going to come in, like I said, it's not going to come in a month. It's not going to come in six months, it's not going to come in a year, it's not going to come in two years, it's not going to come in five years. It, if you have a big goal and you have a big business plan, you have to be very, 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 very patient. It's going to take time. Now, I'm not saying, you know, hit snooze and say, oh, I'll do it tomorrow and be patient that way. That's not at all what I'm saying. I'm saying be patient and don't think you need a brand new truck 
and a brand new mower and a brand new skid steer and a brand new trailer and if you do something else you know if you're a cleaning service you don't need your brand new vacuum today you need to be patient you need to save up you need to make sure that it's the right purchase you just have to be very very patient if you try to jump the gun you're going to get yourself in a bad spot and it kind of goes hand in hand with debt i think a lot of people try to jump the gun and they think they need that thing right now and they go into forty thousand dollars in debt and then their slow time of the year comes and they're screwed so i think being patient in almost every aspect whether you're waiting for a customer to call you back you're waiting to get your first big hoa property you're waiting to get this piece of equipment whatever it is you have to establish patience and now you hustle as fast as you can to get to that goal but you have to realize that it's going to take time it's not going to happen overnight and if you're patient you'll get to where you need to be all right guys thanks for watching that was alex here reporting from destin florida i'll see you in the next one